Spaceman. We are men of space. And that space that we men travel in is a starship called the Champion. Join us as we cruise through the cosmos, explaining things to all those we encounter. Set coordinates for 7-14-21 at 8.01. We're heading to the planet Zerkic, the yellow planet. In orbit around the planet, we expect to find what remains of the Starship Challenger. Captain, that's one of our fleet. What happened to them? All we know for sure is that they're, they've lost their captain and most of the high-ranking members of their crew. The crew now consists mostly of women. <gasps> That's why it's imperative we rescue them as quickly as possible. I don't know what we're going to find there, but I don't think it's going to be pretty. I mean, they're probably pretty, maybe even beautiful, but their situation is ugly. Helmsman, set the accelerometer at Mach 909. No, set it at 1 after 909. But Captain, that would be 910. That's an order, Helmsman. We have damsels to rescue. Helmsman, are we there yet? No, not yet. How long do we get there? You asked me that five minutes ago. Roughly. I need answers. Uh, when are we arriving? Actually, I'm not the navigator. That would be Second Officer Hoskins. She can tell you the estimated arrival time. Roughly, you and the parasite come here. Okay, I ask her. But I don't think she even understand the question. She never shows any initiative. She doesn't speak with authority. And even if she does, I can't hear her. That's why I'm asking you, when are we arriving? We have arrived at Zerkic. What did she say? We have arrived at Zerkic. Good. Sonny, can you get me a nutritional tablet? I'm going to need all the energy I can muster. Oh, and I'll need a spritz of liquid. There she is. Open a hailing frequency. Greetings all aboard the Starship Challenger. We are here to rescue you. I am Captain Adam LePew, and my ship is the champion. Hello, Captain. I'm Acting Captain Eve Catamont. We appreciate the offer, but we don't need to be rescued. We're just fine. Am I right? It's been great. Very positive working environment. Now. I can't think of anything that's gone wrong. It's nice to be able to finally use my skills. But you've lost your captain and most of the men from the bridge. We have. The captain thought it would be a good idea to fight the Dorgron on the planet Kevulon. He couldn't. He was killed quickly. But that didn't stop the rest of the men on board from trying to defeat the Gorgon too. It was very tragic. So sad. But it was also ridiculous. They all just wanted to show how manly they were. Look at me! I'm going to defeat the Dorgon. I wonder if I could defeat the Dorgon. Captain, the Dorgon is huge. It would not be a good idea to attack the Dorgon. Yeah, I know, I know. I don't have time to defeat the Dorgon. I probably could, you know, but uh, I've got to rescue you first. Are you sure there are no men around? There are some men here, but I am the highest ranking officer on board. You can talk to me. She's speaking English, but she's not making any sense. It might be your dialect that is causing the miscommunication. Oh, yes. We are here to save you! We are here to save you! We are here to save you? We are here to save you! Captain, I understand you. We just don't need to be saved. In fact, things are running quite smoothly here. We've also come up with some good ideas. I notice your uniforms are non-compliant, and some of you, how shall I say, look a little under-made up? Uh, permission to speak. Of course. Well, I've noticed that one of your crew members obviously has not shaved for days, and your uniforms look like they've been worn by a high school marching band. The parasite is not even wearing pants. 
You see, Captain, we can play this game too. It really doesn't make sense to wear gold spandex skirts in space. It doesn't help you do your job. It also doesn't make sense to have a French horn player on the bridge of a starship. Oh yes, the horn is essential. It makes everything so dramatic. Listen. See? Am I right? We've made some other changes too, and we can't wait to get to Starbase to share our ideas with them. Excuse me. Close communication. She's not saying anything threatening, but I feel threatened. Do all of you feel threatened? Then it's decided. I will do something, even if it's wrong. Set the tractor beam. Let's drag that ship as far from the starbase as we can. Open communication. This is for your own good. Engage the tractor beam. But first, the French horn. Deflective shields up. The tractor beam fail! Captain, it never engaged completely. The engagement box is missing. We will see you at Starbase. Seatbelts. Just another one of our great innovations. Oh, we're going to borrow your navigator. And just remember, if you get lost, there's no shame in asking for directions.